always, always start with the official documentation. If the official documentation is not that uh, good, then maybe the tool is not really, you know, worth learning. Usually good tools have very good official documentation. So you should be able to find the most important things and the most important and easy to understand information in the official documentation. That is because the people who write these documentations are the people who actually implemented the tools. So they know best, you know, what the tool is all about. So official documentation is number one when it comes to starting learning anything, not just automation, but in general, official documentation is the best uh, place to start. And after you're done with that, uh, if you want to learn more, and of course, if you want to see more examples and so on, uh, there are all kinds of online trainings that are available. For example, you have the Test Automation University, which is free. Then you have Udemy, you have LinkedIn Learning. And of course, then you have blogs, conferences. Uh, many of the conferences, of course, in this uh, period are online or hybrid kind of events. So you can easily take part in these uh, conferences wherever you are. Uh, you might even have access to the to the uh, presentations afterwards, so you can revisit the topics that are discussed in conferences, and you can start, you know, applying what you've seen there, and you know, doing uh, or trying to do your automation while at the same time following the videos to help uh, to get them help you um, do your automation. So these are some very good resources, and last but not least, you can get very good help from developers. Of course, if mostly in cases where you're actually doing automation based on a programming language, because when you're going to work, most of the times when you're going to work on an automation project at work, the project uses probably the same programming languages as the developers do. It doesn't really make sense for you know the, the code project to be in a language and for the automation project to be in a different language. So then you and the developers are very doing very similar things. And if you're if you're stuck anywhere when it comes to the coding, you can easily um, talk to your developers because you know you are in the same company, you're working on the same project, so it's easier for them to help you out because you know, first of all, they're you know close by or like somewhat close by during this time and because they they know what you're referring to so they have an idea about what you're trying to do and they can give you really really good pointers and really really good tips in writing your code 